I, I'm not a big fan of fire punch on Electivire, because, like, what are you fire punching? Like, grass types? You should actually have ice punch in that situation, because that way you could hit ground types, right? Uh, ice punch would hit both ground types and grass types. So it's like, if that's what that's for, you know, like, you probably want to make, I guess, like, steel types, but you could earthquake most steel types, right? So it's like, you don't actually need fire punch. Ice punch is much better. The glass sphere set, I actually think that, like, smart strikes better than heavy slam, my personal opinion, just because you can use it when you're not... You can use it against max mounts, which is pretty important. But I also like Stomping Tantrum over a high horsepower. And that's like a personal preference, just because they both turn into a base 130 max move, and one of them can't miss, right? And one of them actually, if it does happen to not work, has like a secondary built-in effect, like Stomping Tantrum is really, really good. Agron and Ranked? Yo! Yo, Agron and Ranked though? I'm about to just lead with Electivire. I am seriously about to just lead Electivire, Whimsicott, there's Taunt on this Whims. I'll, I'll do it. What, what would they have to stop me? If they went Rilla... Yeah, so if I went, like, Whims, Electivire, bring the Ice Horse in case they get a Trick Room up. And then Gudra? Like, bro, that's, a, that's strong. That is just the strength. Let's go. Remember, guys, we're using viewer-submitted rental codes today. So everyone can send in their teams. This is not a team that I made. This team is a team made by one of my wonderful Patreons. And let's see how it works. I'm excited to bust out the Electivire, one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. Toke is Duskops. Awesome. So, like, they can go follow me Trick Room. I actually wouldn't be super surprised to see, like, follow me Trick Room. Let's actually think about this. I don't want a Tailwind. I actually think we just want to, like, Moonblast. Yeah, so if you if you submit your team um, using the Submit feature, it'll I'll, I'll check it out. All right, so let's see. So they're probably just going to go follow me Taunt. So, like, I'm actually, instead of Tailwinding, I'm just going to go Moonblast, and I'm not going to max this thing. I'm just going to Wild Charge. I just want to make sure, because it could totally be, like, Walking Berry. Yeah, let's go. Follow me. Awesome. This is great. Don't care if they get up Trick Room, because we have an Ice Horse in the back. That big Evire, though. And this also breaks Sash if it was, like, Sash Toekus. So, like, I'm actually happy that, like, this Toekus is probably going down. Yo, special attack drop. We take those all the way to the bank. Whimsicott busted the biggest wild charge you ever did see. Take that recoil all the way to the bank. All right, so let's think about what we want to do here. Um, Obviously, I, I think they had a Torkoal on that team. So they can totally bring out Torkoal. There's not that much I can do about that. But we just have to hope it's not Specs. I don't even know if, like... I don't know anything about our EVs on this team either. So, like, personally, if, if I were running Ice Horse, I'd run a, a lot bulkier one. Yo, Kawa, how's it going? If you got Torkoal, now's the play. Now's the time to do it. Now's the time to bust it out. Yo, thank you for the follow. Agron! Yo, they want that smoke! Oh my goodness. Yo, Agron though. I'm a charm it. I think I'm gonna protect for one turn. And then next turn I can taunt if I see like him going for like Will Wisp Dust Cops. I can go for a taunt. Just wait out the Trick Room turns here. Save Ice Horse in the back. Yeah, it's probably it's probably policy. And there's nothing I can really do about that. So like he's probably going like brick break into the Agron. Let's go. Hmm. It's probably not straight. It's probably Rockhead. Just throwing out there. I love seeing a Dynamax Aggron. Good old Max Aggron. Oh, it's so freaking weird. I wonder if he is going to Brick Break me. Probably, right? I wouldn't be surprised to see him go into the Evire with like a Rock Fall. Because it would also break the Whimsash for next turn. But Charm is going to be nice. Oh, yes. So I really hope they don't take up my Whims here. No, this is the first team I've used. What do you use? Sorry, what did, what did you use with uh, the Bulldoze? Cool. It's great. Great, great, great. So we can go back up to neutral. Policy's up. I hope he's hitting the E-Bar, but if he's hitting the Whims, he's hitting the Whims. Don't hit my, don't hit my Whims. Leave Whims alone. Don't, don't, don't be hitting my Whimsicott. No, he's not. He's in the Whimsicott. That's dumb. Dumb. Sucks. 
protected for literally no reason. Okay, we have Ice Horse. Kudra is... I mean, it's usable. I'm going to proc my policy, probably. Hmm... He is slower than me right now, so actually, I think I am just gonna max and go for a max quake. Cause I think, I think he's just gonna run into this. And the problem is like, Evire stuck earthquaking. I don't really want to earthquake. I guess we just wild charge. It's neutral. He's not a ground type. It's a rock steel. So like, I guess I can just wild charge for like the smallest chip damage the world's ever seen. Probably like five percent. Hopefully we don't get Wool Wisp. I was planning on Wimscott staying alive so I could taunt the Dust Clops. I wonder what the last mod in the back is. Yeah, we'll see. They could totally, like, max quake my Electivire. I don't think that really matters. I really think they have Will Wisp, though. I really do think they have Will Wisp. He's still at neutral on Aggron as well, because we charmed him. So he's only at neutral. He, he's a plus one defense, though. I guess he's a plus two special attack. Special Aggron. Yeah, let's see. Nightshade, go for it. I think that's fine. Steel Spike should just proc my policy. Quake, he's going after my Evire. All right, all right. Yeah, that's totally fine. Evire goes down for the count. So this should do maybe half. Oh, crit, never lucky. Good thing he Steel Spike crit me. I'm happy that he's getting special defense boost because like the rest of our team um, is physical, I think. We have this and something else. Gutra, Gutra's physical. I really don't have to superpower. That would suck. Crit! Alright, so if he hits that thing, he will... Hmm. That's, I don't want a superpower. It's such a waste of superpower here. <sighs> hmm. He's gonna hit the Gudra. I can't protect it. I mean, I really don't want to... Actually, I will superpower, because, like, if we need to be able to finish it off if it doesn't KO, like, that's the only way we can. This is last turn max. It's using a rental team, so it's just whatever that was submitted on the rental team. Let's see. Maybe he'll proc the policy on the Ice Horse, and then we'll get a KO there. It'd make our superpower not work as correctly, but he, I think he's just nuking the Gudra, right? Which is the correct play. I think you just go after the Gudra here. Gudra might not even die. Yeah, so he's not proc and policy. Don't die! You don't stab that move. All right, cool. So we are going to be able to deal with this Aggron. Um, so let's see. And we'll get a Chilling Nate. Oh, we're not going to get a Chilling Nate unless we crit. It's fine. Yeah, and I still think we made the right play here in going for um, superpower. It sucks, but we needed to get that KO. We just don't know what the last mon is. We really don't know what it is. We have plus two sp spit F right now, so if they do have like Torkoal in the back or something, we'll be in a good spot. Problem is like that, that uh, what is it? Freaking Nightshade Demon over there. Stabs 1.5. Okay, so we're taking a Tokus, taking out Agron. Torkoal, there it is. Awesome. I think this is going to be okay. See, like, there's two ways we can deal with this. Um, I think we just have to max Quake. This is the last turn TR, right? I want him to proc my TR. Like, my policy, sorry. So, like, I actually am just going to max Quake here. And I guess I'll just go for, like, a Breaking Swipe. Yeah, you got to post them right here. So hopefully they proc my policy. There's the eruption. I mean, I have to eat if, what I have to eat, right? So hopefully I can just kill the Torkoal. It's going to proc my policy. I'm going to get a Chilling Nade boost to be plus three. This is the last turn TR. Um, there's an Ichi. I think we got it. I, all we have to do is hit a uh, Icicle Crash. And I think we got it. it. Stream's always delayed this much, guys. Cool. Torkoal down for the count. I'm at plus three now. I, 
Can we one shot this dust cops though? At plus three? Can we one shot it? Oh, we didn't even lose Gudra. Yo, Gudra, dummy thick. Gudra ate that? Gudra ate that eruption? Gudra just ate that eruption in the face. I thought Gudra died. Bro, Gudra busted! I love Gudra. Gudra 3 HP, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Gudra. I was just trying to flinch it out, right? The icicle crash coming in hot from downtown. Flinch him, Gudra. Show him what's up. Let's go. Plus three. That's a thick boy. Can we punch it? Truck room, never lucky. Yo, some big bits. An anonymous cheer. Thank you. Thank you for some big bits. We put some bitter free emotes up. Big bitter free emotes up. I don't want to be in a position to where if I miss a move here, we lose. So I'm actually just going to heavy slam. Because if he hits our glass chair and we miss, he just hits us again and we lose. Um... So you just want to heavy slam. If he goes for a, uh, what is it, pain split, like, we're too low. He won't be able to get anything out of it, really. Yeah, bulldo he's going for the bullets. He's trying to take out our Gudra. He's taking out our boy. I think our glass chair might be slower than him now. Which is awesome. So that means, like, that's actually kind of cool, bulldoze there. Let's see, how much damage we got? Oh, we take this all the way to the bank and the critical hit. Yo, we didn't even need it. We didn't even need it. It was a chef's kiss on top of a perfect game. Ice Horse busted. On ranked. Using viewer teams. Yes. Mandibuzz. That's a mono dark team. Sounds like a job for Whimsicott. I wonder if it's like Surf or Surf Sneasel with like T-Tar. Or it's like it's probably also like Ice Shard. Like there's a policy there's a policy somewhere that we can't see. I think this is a game for Whimsicott Evire. This is it, boys and girls. I think I'm gonna bring the hitmon top, as weird as this sounds. Hitmon top's still kind of busted. And I know I should be bringing Gudra here, but I think I'm gonna bring the Ice Horse. Just cause like, it's Ice Horse. I gotta bring it. Yeah, we did, I did Nuzlocke literally like two days ago. Two days ago, we did the Nuzlocke. Two days, it's been two days. So, yeah. It's been two days since the Nuzlocke. So probably the next Nuzlocke probably on Tuesday. Because I don't stream. Maybe 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 on Sunday. I try not to stream weekends. All right, who we got? Uh, is it Ice Shard? Big Mandibuzz? I'm going to go after that Mandibuzz. I'm going. It's totally... uh, What is that? Weak Armor Policy Mandibuzz. Let's pop it off. Where are you looking? You could totally fake out my, my Whimsicott. I don't care. Yeah, just wait for it to go up on YouTube. The highlights go up on YouTube real quick. The Nuzlocke videos. Those go up on YouTube every three or four days. I just wanted to max this Evire. I like Electivire Shiny. I'm not normally like a fan of like, I normally like red stuff more. So you'd think I normally like the red eyed Evire, but I like the blue on like the tail. It looks cool. You max him, buddy? No max, bro. And I get my tail one up. Yes, please. Yo, we don't talk about recovering from losing Thickerita. Sad, sad times. Die, please. That's right. Easy peasy. We be taking those. Electivire busted out here. Mandibuzz down. I respect Mandibuzz. Because we, we're rocking the orb. I think I'm orb too, right? What What is my item? <laughs> what item is on this Electivire? I don't even know. I thought I was orbed. I am orbed. Yeah, so I, I took the recoil. Yeah. All right. Um, We're still fast. And now I have a terrain boost. So I'm pretty sure I can one-shot that Moltres. Hmm. Show me that Moltres. Umbreon. I can't taunt it, but I can Moonblast it. 
Let's go. Let's do this. Moon Blast. Probably can do about 30-ish percent. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. A lot more, so it's full HP defense on the Ambron. I think we still take it out. Life Orb Terrain Boosted. Big Max Evire? Yes. Oh man, Electifier's so good! Yo, Singles is good. Singles is fun. Re Reflect though! Reflex Sneasel! I've never seen that. Does Sneasel, dude, the, does the Sneasel Weavile line get light screen too? That's nuts. I like that. That is so cool. There's the max. They're probably gonna be able to live. Like, we're gonna go for the Moon Blast. It's probably Sash Sneasel, so like, I don't think we double into it. I think we just double into this guy. And then we just bring out something that can finish it off. He shouldn't be proccing policy. He should be killing... He should use Moltres to kill Evire and Sneasel to kill um, Whimsicott. But after he takes a shit ton of damage. Like, he shouldn't be Ice Sharding here, even if he has it. You're right, he said he did say shingles, didn't he? <laughs> Alright, big Moltres, what you got, Chief? Survey says... Max guard. Smart play. Smart. Waiting out my max turns. And taking out my whims. I hate to see it. Icy went again. So now I'm back down to my original speed tier. Which is still fast. Let me think about this exactly. This is the last turn I tail one, right? These guys are okay if I cannot just get dumpstered. As weird as it sounds, I actually still think I outspeed Moltres with my E-Buyer. Yeah, I know Wims does. And this has to be Sashed, otherwise he's dead. Oh, he's just, he's just EVLA. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, I should have Fire Punched it. I would took less recoil. Another icy win. This is totally fine. Um, I, I hope that... Well, if they're not hitting Wimscott, I can retail one, right? And if they're hitting... It's just, sorry, if they're hitting Eva, I can retail one. If they're hitting Wimscott, I get to kill on the Sneasel, which is what I want. It's what I want. I like to buy a bust, that's right. Yo, the respect for Eva, I see you. I see you over there. Are you ready to beat, like, really good players, though? Next turn? Actually, I don't really need a Tailwind, do we? Because we just have bad mons in the back. Okay. We're going to Moonblast the Sneasel. Lose the Whims. Then... We're going to Protect here as well. Oh, not that one. Whoa. Almost messed that one up. So Moonblast here. Protect here. They're probably going to take out the Whims this turn. Then we bring out um, him on top. Go for a fake out play. Glass here should be the non-Dynamax Moltres. He has a Reflect up right now. So I have to, I have to play smart. I think we got shots. Yeah, I'm using the same team. It's only been like 10 minutes. It's not really fine. Is it though? Let's see. We Moltres outspeeds our wounds right now. I'm an idiot. Not an idiot, but like I need to get that Sneasel off the board, actually. <laughs> I do need to get it off the board sooner than later. Airstream. Hit my... Alright, they hit the right target. They ignored my boy! Never, ever lucky. Okay, I got an idea. Part of me really wanted to use Faint, but it won't work. It's okay. It's okay. So, I guess we'll fake out Moltres. He'll probably just protect this turn. But we'll fake out just to keep it completely honest. Uh, we'll kill the Weavile. Sorry, this needs still to get a uh, Chilling Nay boost. And we'll be good. Can't imagine if you do that much to me. Reflex up for... Last turn of Reflect. Awesome. 
So fake out keeps you honest. Heavy slime ends your life. Last turn reflect. Wow. He actually went for an attack there. Ice shard, he's policy pocking. Oh no, he's fake outed though. Sad face. The saddest face of all time. Look at the policy over there. He's so big right now. You're not the only one who's big. Alright, so it's a plus one. Watch the skills. The skills to pay the bills. We're about to be busting off something sick right here. You ready for this? You ready? He's like, psh, psh. I got this, okay? And I'm like, you ain't got nothing. Let's go. Protect. Okay, you see me now. You see me. We have wide guard. We do, in fact, have a move called guard of the wide. There's two things. Now that he protected their scout for wide guard, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Because I don't think, like, protecting and close combating is the right play. She just fainted his ass. I think he just wide guard again and force him to hit a hurricane into my glass chair, which I don't even know if he can. Because he also could go after the hit him on top to, like, he could just hurricane the hit him on top. There's a wide guard again. Yo, I'm keeping you honest. I'm keeping you honest. I'm not going to get hit by that move. Hurricane. Correct target. Correct target. He hit the move. But we dummy thick. Oh, and we're confused. Never lucky. We're never lucky. Never, ever, ever lucky. Sometimes lucky. Sometimes lucky. You tried your best with your RNG, chief. But not in my house. Not in my house. Get that out of here. Get that garbage. Garbage out of my house. Yo, we take those wins on ranked using viewer submitted teams. And we maxed an Electivire. That's awesome. Competitive Melodic. The Melodic Mirror Match. I still like Evire here. But I know it's not that great. I know we want to bring the last chair, but we have to bring it in the back. I think you want to bring Whims, actually. I think Whims is actually a really good weed. I know they have potential for fake out, but like, that's fine. We can still charm things. Am I going to bring Whims and glass chair? I think that's actually a really, really, really good weed. I don't really want him on top here. Kudra is only okay, because there's too many fairies. I think we'll bring Evire and Melodic. Let's go. Let's try this. Let's do this. Let's see. Pokemon that can be vested. Incineroar! Vested Arcanine was okay at the beginning of the format, but yeah, it's not that great anymore. Alright, what you got, Chief? Rhyperior Comfort. Are they gonna like policy proc? Are you gonna policy proc me, bro? Bro. Let's see. I think we just double. I think you just actually like charm. Or we can just taunt protect for a turn to fish for a policy proc. You might be steel spiking this turn though. What if I went like charm into this slot? And a steel spike into the Kumpei to give myself a defense boost. Yeah. And if you ally switch for some weird ass reason, you're ally switching into... Uh... I guess I'm still getting a defense boost. It looks like we're the ones maxing first. Okay. Let's see it. Big Max Ice Horse. Popping out. Are you trick rooming me with your Kumpei? I protect Rhyperior to fish for policy proc and then uh, trick room. That'd be nice. That'd be smart. I thought about taunting the Comfey, right? So they're ta they're maxing the right period here. They should just max their Comfey. Let's go. Hopefully it's not Sash. I kind of hope that they rock fall my whims, um, because I'm gonna clock their Sash, their Sash Comfey, and then we'll basically trade whims for Comfey. Also, whims is like charm in the right period. There's the charm. That's so smart. Got a good item of Pokemon right now. So good. Oh, that's, he is TRing. Cool. There's the Sash. Just like I said, everything's going according to plan here. All right, so if you rock fall my whims, good spot for us. 
doing A-OK -okay right now. Because I also got a defense boost on my Ice Horse, which is what I wanted. Rock Ball, yes. Please. I'd like it to hit the Ice Horse, too, personally. Yes! Policies, oh my gosh. And you didn't get a policy proc. You lose your comfy. I'm so good at Pokemon. Straight up. Guys, we're on a roll here. We're on a roll. We got a policy proc. We got our whim still alive. Comfy's down. Right here's about to be at minus four next turn. Oof. I don't care about your trick room, Chief. I could care not for the room of tricks. I guess they could send out. I think they do have an entity, so they can send that out, but I'll just kill it. <laughs> I will just dumpster it. All right, let's go. What do you got? In, uh, Hatterene? Gothitil. Okay, so potential for fake outs. I just want to kill the goth, I think. I think we should charm here. Yeah. Uh, this Ice Horse probably doesn't have speed reduced or zero Ivy because it's a rental team. Minus four Rhyperior. Bro, you, you won't even kill my Wimscott anymore. Rockfall. Round two, huh? Look at this. Look at that. Look at the Rockfall. Max Rockfall. Straight busted ice horse. Calm down, ice horse. Alright, let's see it. What's the last mod? Chilling Nay all the way. That is what I say. Take that chip damage. Straight up, I'm about to be taking more damage from hail than I'm gonna be taking from like the max attacks. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What's your last mod? Wise choice. We've already seen the Sash, so we don't really need to respect those options. Um, we have Melodic to deal with Rhyperior, so we basically just want to go after the Hat. So there's not a reason to Charm anymore. Straight up, there is no reason to Charm, because at this point he would just be critting out. So we're just going to double into the Hat with... Um, it's actually better to use a Hailstorm, because like it could be a Beery Berry. And we just want to make sure that you do the most amount of damage. This also makes our, our weather is the one that's active, so he doesn't have the rock ball active. Mystical Park, go for it. That's all you. That's all you. I think this might be a very, very actually. So hopefully we can KO it. Rock ball. We are at plus three. You are weak. Weak. You need more hatred, right, period. Now, let's see it. Yeah, I think it's better to not steal Spike in this situation because I don't want to proc with Beery. And I don't want the Rhyperior to have access to uh, the Sandstorm. Get that Spadef boost. All right, I want to win with... See, this is why you got to have Ice Punch on your Electivire. It's so important. It's the most important thing. Got to be able to hit those ground types. Man, I can't even hit it, really. Fine. I'm just one with Melodic. But I tried to win with Electivire. I brought it to every single game. Because Electivire is my boy. My boy. Evire all the way. I wonder how well we would actually eat like a high horsepower on the Electivire. <laughs> He's at minus four. Charm Whims is so strong. Alright, we win. Get it? We we whims. The wind's up. He's thinking about it. He's like, I can rock slide double flinch. 8,000 times. The battle was canceled. We're taking the wins on ranked using viewer submitted teams. And this one was quite fun to play, if I do say so myself. So in review, I really do think that you want Ice Punch over the Fire Punch. I think the Gujra set's great. I really like, I checked out the Gujra Eevee spread. I like the Gujra spread. So Gujra's nice. I like the rock slide touch there as well for things like Zard. Him on top's great. Uh, definitely a mod that should be used more often. Whimsicott, I thought that I wouldn't like not having Protect, and I still think I like having Protect more than Taunt, but when I was playing those games and I had Whimsicott and I was already in a winning position, I really liked that I could taunt new things coming out, so I liked Whimsicott's set. The only thing I might change is I would think Dazzling is better than Moonblast, because that plays around Redirection and still can kill the Urshifu Darks. Melodic's fine, super cool set. Uh, Glass is cool. I would personally use Smart Strike over Heavy Slam, 
and I'd personally use Stomping Tantrum over High Horsepower, but that's a personal preference thing. You know, I don't like the fact that Heavy Slam can't hit Max Mons, and I don't like the fact that High Horsepower can miss. Because the, the thing about all these moves having common is sometimes you just need to hit their Mon with like an attack that's good versus like Steel types, aka or your other Fire types. Like you need you need to use a Ground Attack, right? And you can't hit them because uh, like High Horsepower can miss. So I would make those small changes. But other than that, I like the team. It was a lot of fun to play. Thank you for submitting it.